Hey everybody, it's Dawn from Seasonal Designs. Today I'm going to be planting up four containers for a client. Um, they're small containers for their balcony. Two of them are round and two of them are square. Um, and I thought I'd walk you through kind of how I lay out my containers. So first thing, I filled this with potting mix. Want to make sure that you're using potting mix and not a bag of garden soil and certainly not anything that you've dug up from your landscape. Um, potting mix is finer and lighter and your plants are going to do much better. They're going to survive. In fact, they're going to do more than survive. They're going to thrive in a potting mix specifically for container plants versus using a garden soil or something out of the landscape. So the first thing that I like to do um, is I like to place my plants so I have an idea of what I want to do in what. And I have a number of different things here. And I know I really like this coleus. This is a uh, color blaze strawberry drop coleus. And this does well in sun to shade. And so I'm going to use that. And it has this really pretty kind of pinky purple color in its leaf and I'm going to be playing off of that. Um, one of the other flowers I'm going to be using is a pentis and I believe this is pentis lavender. There isn't a tag in this one so I'm not 100% sure um, what variety that is but look at how nice that'll that'll just play off of the leaves of this coleus. Um, the third plant I'm going to be putting in is something from Proven Winners. It's a super bell and it's called yellow chiffon and I just love this plant. It's already is already a nice size, um, but it's like this lemony kind of uh, color with a little deeper throat on it and I just love it. And I'm going to put that here and that's going to kind of spill out. This pentis will get taller. So right now you're not going to see that. And then the last one that I'm going to be putting in this container is also from Proven Winners. And it is a super tunia called Royal Magenta. Um, and all of these are full to part sun, except for the Pentis, I believe it's full sun. Um, so that I'm gonna put right in there. So once I have my containers kind of laid out um, how I think I want them, I will do this one the same. And then I will start planting them up. So let's get to that. I do like to fill my containers um, almost to the top with the potting mix. Um, that way there's less for me to put in um, after, when I have all the flowers in. And right now I'm using this miracle Grow potting mix and I have a little bit left in this bag. And I'm gonna add that. And when I plant up my containers, especially the ones for my clients, I really try to make them um, very easy care for them. So I use a potting mix that does have food in it for the annuals. These annuals are very heavy eaters um, and you know you're watering your plants, um, your, pl your, your pots a lot and you're washing a lot of those nutrients out and so what I like to do is just make sure I start everybody off with fresh potting soil especially in a container of this size um, I would never reuse the potting soil in a container that's this small. Um, I would use all fresh potting mix. Now, if I was planting up a, a much larger container where like I don't believe the roots are ever going to get to the bottom of the container, in my larger containers I would leave um, probably half of the old soil in unless I had an issue with it um, the previous season. Um, but if I didn't have any issues I would probably leave half um, to even three quarters in there and um, and put fresh stuff on top. So let me get this guy in. So the front is facing you. So you'll have a good idea of what this looks like. Now we'll put in this Super Bells Lemon Chiffon. It's just beautiful. And let's see, I wanna make sure he's kind of hanging and I wanna stick him over here spot for them. This way when I have the soil really filled in all I really need to do is make a spot and push the soil back. I don't need to like add it and get dirt all over the plants which sometimes can happen. All right and then I'm going to make one more spot here 
for my Royal Magenta here. Oh, let's see, we're gonna uh, crush this one a little bit to get it out of here. There we go. Um, my pretty super bells and you know, really none of these root balls need to be teased or anything. It's pretty early in the season. It's actually only April here. Um, I'm planting these up early and I'm gonna babysit these for a couple of weeks. And so what I'll do is I'll plant these up. Um, I'll probably leave them right here on my gorilla cart. I'll pull these out um, into the nice weather when we have it. And when it's not nice, I'll keep them um, inside in a area where they're protected. So I'll babysit these for a couple of weeks and then um, my client will swing by to pick these up and uh, they'll be set to go. So first one's done. Let's get to the second one. Okay, let's get to the second two containers. These are even smaller. Um, so again, I've completely emptied their old soil and I put in fresh potting mix um, for containers. So I'm gonna lay this out. Um, this is also Fold Apart Sun. This is a Sun Patient Compact Tropical Rose. It gets about 16 to 32 inches in a big container and this one it's not going to get that big because it's going to be its roots are going to be fighting with some other plants but you can do that in with annuals in containers and um you know the strongest will kind of take over a little bit so this one is fold apart sun as well um and i love this ageratum i think i'm saying that right ageratum um, and it is called, it's a blue color and it's really pretty. And I'm going to, that's going to sit back here with these two. These two are going to fight it out for space. Um, and then the last thing I think I'm going to put in front here is a verbena. It's this multicolored. It has a little bit of the purple and the white, just like that. That is what I'm going to do in both of these containers. So let me get these planted up for you and we'll come back and we'll take a look. Okay, and here's a look at the final four containers, all kind of clustered together, but let's look at these close up and we'll go through again what I utilized for these containers. So first up here, um, these are all by Proven Winners. This is called Color Blaze Strawberry Drop. It is a coleus that is a bit more trailing. It likes sun to shade and it grows 14 to 18 inches tall. Um, this color in here that I've picked up with my next plant, which is my Supertunia. It is called Royal Magenta. It is full sun to part sun and grows six to 10 inches tall. The next one here that I also kind of chose to pick up the lighter, the lighter color here in the coleus um, is this one. It's a super bell. It's called Yellow Chiffon. It is also full to part sun, six to 10 inches tall. And then this Pentis, which I don't have a tag for, it didn't come with a tag, which should get taller. Um, I'm sorry, it's kind of a pink color, but again, playing off of the colors in my coleus. So that is the back two containers. So the square containers here in front, let's go through these. So this one here um, is a, a sun patient called Tropical Rose. So it's an, imp it's an impatient and it takes full to part sun and it grows 16 to 32 inches tall. This one over here with this really pretty, pretty, pretty little purple flower is called an ageratum. This color is called artist blue and it takes full to part sun 
and grows eight to 12 inches tall. Then my two verbena here in the front. This one here is a, is a, is not a proven winter one, but it is called Wicked Cool Purple Verbena. Um, and it has this really cool kind of white and then it turns purple flower, which I really love. And then this is the other verbena. If you remember, I put in from a plug and I do not have the tag for that one, so I apologize. But, um, you know, this color I feel kind of pulls together all of my containers because it's the same color that is in the coleus and in the containers that are round. So that's the plants. That's a look at the final containers. And I hope that I provided some inspiration and some ideas for you to plant up your small containers. Good luck and happy planting.